You look like a chimney sweep. Yeah, I feel like one. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, we were stranded by Blue Betty. Kyle was able to get a new part, but that was not the problem. Even though he tried to install the new one, it just wasn't adding up. We found tons and tons of problems. We were able to call around, but to no avail. Let's see what's going on this week. So we're here for Steven's birthday. Artie Steve travels. John is here. Eli's eating. Molly's eating. But look at these plates. I don't know if you guys are the same, but I am one and done. Like I go for my food and then I get dessert. Kyle grazes. Steven's oh, got his. I'm a mixture. Ooh, Jonathan's got. I like, got some poo and yang. Poo and yang. Mm -hmm. Let's eat. Molly and I went on a hike today, or we're going on a hike. We like to take each of the kids out for their own special day. And today, Molly wanted to go on a hike. That's what we're doing. And we got a new backpack. We did. You want to show them your backpack? Whoa. She got her own hiking backpack. So I'm going to put the camera away and go have fun with Molly. But we just wanted to show you that we actually take each of the kids out on their own special day to do what they want to do. And they each get individual attention. So you ready to hike? Yeah. Let's go. Guys, I am down here underneath the bus, under the drive axle. I've identified one of the blocks there that feed these rear chambers that are on the drive axle. There's another block right here. Sorry for the filming, guys. It's pretty, pretty cramped under here. It feeds this particular chamber here. I've got to figure out what, because we've identified there's no air going forward, and I need to figure out how what gets it there when it does. So. That's what I'm looking at currently. I'm assuming it's some type of relay or something that I'm looking for. I had to show you guys this. My husband yeah, down here, he has a snorkeling mask on. So he he didn't have any safety goggles. It's grease is falling off his bus in my eyes. He's got grease and stuff. Babe, you look like a chimney sweep. Yeah, I feel like one. What, what is going on? Because I'm pretty yeah, sure I'm looking like that, you didn't record anything. No. Trying to take a valve off. Oh. And I got one bolt that's hung in oh. it and I can't get it off. Let me guess Ooh. it's hard. <laughs> oh, that's what she said. <laughs> so what's the next, like, do you think, where, where's the problem? Where do you think now? I'm pulling this valve off. I think it's the valve that sends the air forward, a relay valve that sends the air forward. So that could be the problem. Hopefully. I worked my butt off to get it off, and I still don't have it off. Wow. I think you're sexy, though. Mm. Okay. What about RV Steve Travels? Do you feel like that could be the issue since there's no air going up front? It's definitely one of those relays or, um, well, they call it a relay, but it's like this big. But it basically sends air from the back to the for you know, forward to the other tanks. So it's one of those, and that's what he's working with. So We'll see. We'll see. We'll leave it at that. Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Friday. We, um... I've been like fighting to get this Jeep worked on for months. And with the pandemic, nobody, no dealerships have inventory. So there's a recall on the steering dampener and they don't even know when they're going to get those back in. And I ordered a radio, which was under warranty that was starting to delam a little bit. So I'll show you guys what we had done today. So yeah, we had a new, got a new radio put in. Uh, sorry for the quality. It's my phone and it's not doing too good. But yeah, it started like peeling away up here and started going down. Luckily, it happened before it was out of warranty. So yeah, we got some nice new shiny radio and nav screen. Um, it's actually a little different than our other one though. I'm not really sure why, but the interface looks a little different. I am getting a couple things organized. Tomorrow's Mother's Day and Kyle took the kids to go shopping and I'm here organizing and doing bedding and just getting stuff done since we're nice and delayed. Show you what it looks like when we're done. We also 
have washer dryer issues. It is not drying, so Kyle's gonna have to come back and look at that. All the things we got going on, it was kind of a blessing that the bus wasn't rolling uh, because we're able to get a lot more stuff done. So speaking of getting stuff done, I gotta get back to work. All right guys, we are at Rocky's Chicken Shack. I have been craving this hot chicken since we left Nashville. Eli got him a chicken leg and some fries. Well, they got big old hunk and tender that she's yeah. got her drink for some reason on the plate. Some fries and then she's got a chicken leg. So let's chow down guys, this looks so good. All right y'all, I got a lot done today in the form of I changed out the kids' bedding. I washed all the bedding, plus we put new curtains up. There's new curtains on the shower. And I also put new curtains on the bathroom. They were very overdue for being changed. They were really gross. And we got the dryer. We cleaned it out, so we'll see if it actually dries now. And then I have our bed sheets outside. Like, I've got a lot of stuff done. Truth be told, I just wanted to be done before tomorrow because tomorrow's Mother's Day. And I wanna take this time right now to wish all the mothers out there, all of the bereaved mothers, all of the adoptive mothers, all the mothers, all the dog moms, all the grandmothers, aunts, everything, happy Mother's Day. I hope you have an amazing day tomorrow and you are treated like the absolute queen that you are. I'm gonna help Kyle get this dinner ready and go edit today's video. I forgot to show you guys earlier. Here is the bike rack we picked up. It's made by a company called Yakima, 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 whatever. Um, it's what they call a platform bike rack. And it kind of, this folds out, your tire sits in, and these levers here, you're able to sit down on top of the bike and you're able to lock it because it has a key. So this is for mine and Ben's mountain bikes. They're pretty expensive. So we wanted to, I wanted to get a nice safe bike rack and be able to lock them down. Okay, Kyle just came out from underneath the bus. Uh, the SR1 valve, which a lot of guys have told me go bad or pretty notorious to go bad. I finally located it and I had the bus aired up the air with the air compressor and had no air coming out. But as soon as I took the supply off, it started spewing everywhere. So I'm hoping, well, praying that it's the failure inside the valve and I can just replace that and we'll be on our way. So that's what I'm gonna be doing the rest of the day. Of course, it's corroded and the bolts rusted on there. So that's gonna be a whole nother job. I prefer your other safety goggles. So yeah. these right, right here, the ones I'm popping up. I really like those. These are professional here. Yeah. I know you look legit. Like it looks like you know what you're doing, babe. Don't let it fool you. I do not. I kind of want to bring you guys up speed where we are. So I'm pretty, like I said before, I'm pretty sure there's no air going to the front. I went out there this morning, cracked a few lines, got no air pressure coming from anything. I had the bus aired up completely. So I came back to this and from the research I've done and I've had several other people suggest looking into this valve here. This is an SR1 valve, spring brake valve. What I did is I went to delivery lines that run the air up to the front tank and to the front of the bus and I had nothing coming out from there. It comes directly out of the rear tank into this particular valve, and then it pushes the air forward. Like I said, I pulled, took those, there was two of those, neither one had air coming out, so I was like, well, great, I'm, I, this is my issue. So I went to the supply line that comes directly from the tank, and I had full air pressure. So air's getting to this valve, it's just not going through it. Well, I'm hoping and praying that this is my fix. I went to Napa, the guy that I really needed to talk to was on lunch, so he's supposed to call me back. The guy in there wasn't able to identify anything. It does have a Bendix number right here, but as you can look at the valve, I mean, I and I've cleaned it thoroughly, two cans of brake clean at this point. Um, you know, it's probably, if not original, it's extremely old. So hopefully this will be my fix. Again, this is an SR1 valve or a spring brake valve, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I, I, I think maybe I'm making a little headway here, finally. a tree I remember how it started I was lost in a dream when the fire in my heart said an open rose I've already found some light the feeling grows and anything sounds all right I'm breaking
Dios 